the Cantor Fitzgerald Whitson Cup is the next race. Uh, 0 to 89 furlong handicap, my local track, Warwick. And let's take a look at the card. At the top, we've got Fruitful Beach for Steve C. Tariff for Craig Beckwith, Proud Tarquin, Kevin Meehan, Diamond Sue, Alex Cherry, Tattle Melville, Crunched for Stu Gray, Unchained My Heart, Rod McClure, Darling Lady, David Hooley, Milano Legend, Daniel French, Naritva, Martin Leedham, Insinuate Neil Mack, and She's the Law, Obi Wan. So that's your field of 11 then in the Whitson Cup. You're at work and all installed and ready to go. And away they go. And Milano Legend was one of the quickest out right over on the far side. The proud Tarquin has got the rail and now bursting through in the purple jacket. His darling lady, and that one is going to be the leader. So, darling lady, it is then who's gone on into the lead from Insinuate in second. Then the local horse, Nareva, is in third. Tariff is after that one. Then Milano Legend and proud Tarquin unchain my heart. is next. The Grey's Fruitful Beats. The three that are just struggling to go. The pace of Tannerville Crunch, Diamond Sue, and She's the Law. But it's darling lady that's setting the pace then and leads by three to insinuate on the outside of Nareva and Tariff. Then after that one, Unchained My Heart up the wide outside with the grey fruitful beach on its inside. Milano Legend is also there. Proud Tarquin's lost its place. The back three have now caught up and are with the rest of the group, although she's the law and Diamond Sue are struggling a little bit at the back. Darling Lady continues to lead by two then as they begin to take this long turn into the straight and it's Darling Lady who leads from Tariff in second. Nareva's third, then fruitful Beach insinuate on Chain My Heart and Milano Legend Proud Tarquin has dropped back now, but the race is beginning to develop at the top and it's Darling Lady being pressed by Nareva and the Great Fruitful Beach. Tariff is boxed on the inside. Milano Legend is next on Chain My Heart. Orn is trying to work his way through his insinuate, but it's Darling Lady who's in the lead. Darling Lady's led all the way so far. They're into the final two furlongs and Darling Lady leads from Fruitful Beach in second. Nareva is in third. Then Milano Legend Tatterville Crunch is now coming through with a strong looking challenge when it's Still Darling Lady in the lead. Darling Lady from Fruitful Beach. Nareva Milano Legend into the final foot. On they go. And Darling Lady's in the lead. Nareva is trying to close. So too is Milano Legend. But it's still Darling Lady in the lead. And Darling Lady looks like she's got to hold on. Nareva one last lunge. Finishing fast is Diamond Sue. And Nareva might have got up on the line. It's close. It's very close. The angle's deceptive. The long-time leader could well have hold on. But Nareva was lunging. The local horse has not quite got up. To take it, darling lady has hung on, and the locals will be groaning. That's there. Local horse is beaten by darling. Oh, it's a dead heat, it's a dead heat, so it's not quite all doom and gloom for the locals. Darling lady takes it for David Hooley alongside locally trained Nareva for Martin Lee. And then, so the two dead heat and share the spoils. Milano legend for Daniel French was third. Diamond Sue for Alex Cherry fourth, and Proud Tarquin for Kevin Minahan was fifth.